Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. One popular question that gets asked quite often, especially for event booking websites is, how do I order my posts by a custom meta field? Like we have in this example, this is a custom meta field and the loop grid is ordered by that meta field. If that's something that interests you, then stick around and we'll get right into it. So here we have a bunch of events that I created, some random events, and you can see this is the published date. They were published on different days, and this is the meta field called the start date. So you see, this is how the events are actually going to happen, but this was the date that they were published. You can see it was created using ACF. This is the ACF post type. This is the events post type, and the field groups that we created event fields and the post type is the start date which is a date speaker field and this is the name start underscore date that is an important thing we're going to be using so now let's jump right into the elemental edit page so here we are on the elemental edit page let's go ahead and create our loop grid so click on the plus icon Choose the flex box, so just choose the column. Then click on the plus icon again. Now drop in the loop grid. I've already created the template, so I'm just going to choose the template now. That is the event loop template. Then I'll change the query to the custom post type called events. And this is it. So let me publish it. And now let's view it on the front end. You notice that right now is random. So you see this is 12th, but then this is the 23rd, then the 19th. But that is not really good for us because we want the events to be shown in order, starting from the dates closest to today and going forward. So how do we do that? By default, we see on the edit page, when we try to choose the order by, you can only order by date, title, many order and so on and so forth but there is no order by a meta field but fortunately enough for us elementor have already created some custom query filter that we can use so if you go to their page this is their developer docs i'll leave a link to it in the description below you can see how to go ahead and create your own function which you hook into the query and change it all you have to do is copy the filter which i will leave a link to in the description below and then you paste it into wherever you find comfortable a lot of people prefer to use their child theme because they feel it's more secure or using a code snippets plugin like wp code box code snippets pro or however you find comfortable for this example i'll be using wp code box and here is the filter we're using i'll leave a link to this function in the description below so you can just go and check it out but this is how it works. Basically, we are changing everything. So we're saying the order should be in ascending order because the events are starting from the date closest to today and going forward. Then we want to set the order by our meta field. Then the key is that start date, which was the key for the meta field. And then we're comparing it to today's date and saying that from today, and then going forward, those are the only ones I want to show in the loop grid. So that's basically what we're doing. So now all you have to do is just save this. Then we take this filter name, the filter ID. Let's copy that. And we'll go back to our loop grid. Under the content tab, query, you see the query ID. Just paste that value there. And immediately everything now adjusts. Let's publish it and go back to the front end. You now see it is shown by that date. So that is the order. So this is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and so on and so forth. So it is now ordered by that meta field rather than being ordered by the published date. To even take it a step further, you can also go ahead to unpublish or 
expire your posts that have passed because when an event has passed, you no longer want people to go and try to book that post anymore. So you basically set it back to draft. So you can use another function, which is there, and then you can just say so that whenever the post is away from today, the post should expire. And yeah, that's it. That's how we get our event loop grid to be ordered by a custom meta field rather than the post date. If you found this video helpful, please do leave a like, share the video, write your comments. I like to hear your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>